if everything is looking familiar from yesterday's video, I'm on a recording spree. Um, Stella's in school, so <laughs> I record a lot of videos when Stella is at school because that's really the only time that I can do this. So um, I have my beauty empties for the month of February, and I'm really kind of surprised that I finished as much as I did this month, but it was it was a good usage month for beauty products. So we are going to run through everything. I'm going to tell you what I really loved. I'm going to tell you what was kind of good, but I probably wouldn't purchase again. And obviously things that sucked that I would never repurchase again. All of my holy grail, like super recommendations, I'm going to link down below for you. I'm not going to link everything that I'm showing you here because quite frankly, I don't have time for that. But um, the things that I really liked, I will link down below for you so that you can go check out some other people's reviews and um, see what their thoughts are on these products. So, because obviously my opinion is just my opinion. Not everybody feels the same way that I do. First things first, caviar, anti-aging amplifying mousse, and one of my hairs is stung, whatever, who cares? The sky right here. This I got at Nordstrom Rack for $11.97. So um, I have a feeling that maybe Alterna was on Hot Look and someone returned this. Um, there was only one, and uh, my Nordstrom Rack doesn't normally sell Alterna products in their, like, hair care section. So, um, this was the Amplifying Mousse for Volume, Texture, and Control, and I loved it. I loved this mousse so much. I didn't find it drying at all. I found that it gave my hair good bounce and body and volume. It smelled amazing, and um, this is something that I would absolutely repurchase in the future. But I do not think that it comes in this large of a can anymore. I think the can is smaller. But I'm guessing the price probably stayed the same because that's what a lot of companies do. Went through another one of these. These being um, the Ultra Repair Cream for Intense Hydration from First Aid Beauty. This is a holy grail product right here. This on my eczema, perfection. I rarely have to use a steroid cream anymore. There are some days where if, if I'm really stressed out, I'm not gonna lie, this will not deal with a major flare up. But most days I can just apply this on my arms and it heals that dryness and that itchiness and makes my arms look almost completely normal, which is nice. Um, when I go to the gym, I obviously wear a lot of tank tops and I hate having the eczema where I do because it's in a very obvious place and sometimes I can feel people kind of looking like, what is that? Why does she have like red splotches all over her arm? Is that contagious? You know, and I get it. Like sometimes, you know, I mean, I would probably be like, can I get that? <laughs> you can't get it. But anyway, this helps to control it quite a bit. I do know that you can get larger sizes of this and like duo packs through QVC and there's some pretty good deals. So I'll try to hunt out the best deal for maybe QVC and link that down below for you because it's good stuff. I have two items in here from Asterwood Naturals that I just finished up actually this morning. The Matrixel 3000 and the Argireline Serum. Um, I really have liked using Asterwood Naturals. I think they are a very good line. I personally really like them. Um, basically all of their products are in a hyaluronic acid base, so they're really hydrating. Um, the Matrixel and Argireline work to both hydrate the skin, plump fine lines and wrinkles. Um, they just, they're a really good product. I will repurchase these again in the future, but I am actually going to be placing an order with DCM to try their products again. Um, I'm waiting for things to come back in stock because... If I place an order, I would like to get everything that I want in one fell swoop, but right now about 30, more than 30%, about half of what I want to order is out of stock. So um, I want to try the Argireline and the Matrixel from uh, The Ordinary. So, but they, they need to actually be in stock for me to do that. But I like the Osterwood Naturals. You can find them on Amazon if you wanna go take a look. I've had a good experience with their products. This, uh, this is one of those back loofah scrubber things, and I'm just throwing this away because I really got, 
I got a really nice back brush from Grace and Stella Company and um, it's so much easier to use and just exfoliates my back so much better than this piece of fabric. Um, I really, I would never buy another one of those again because I think it works decent, but honestly, there's, there's no substitution for a back brush in my eyes. I prefer a brush. I really do. I finished the body wash in the scent Rich and Fomus from Soap and Glory. Uh, well, the scent is almond, oats, and brown sugar, but the Rich and Fomus is the, the name of the soap. I really like this. I think it's good. Will I repurchase it? Yeah, probably someday long from now, but I like to try new things. Um, but it's nice. It was hydrating. A lot more hydrating than I thought it would be. It's not as hydrating as the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian body wash, but it's nice. It's got a yummy scent. Uh, this Nysant Azul Plata toning shampoo. I swear by this. <laughs> this and the Pravana um, are my holy grail toning shampoos and conditioners. I will purchase this again. I find this one on Amazon. I will link it down below for you. It's really pigmented, um, non-drying, great stuff. I just, I have used this for years and I love it and I swear by it. Love this too. Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Moroccan Rose. If you have not tried the Moroccan Rose and you love rose scented things, Oh man, it's a fruity rose. It smells so good, you guys. Um, and I love these Tree Hut scrubs. They're not super oily. They're not oily at all, actually. And they're just great. So, Paula's Choice Resist Weekly Resurfacing Treatment 10% AHA Glycolic Acid. This is a liquid exfoliant. You just pour it on a cotton pad, smear it across your face, and go about your business. Uh, I use this only at night. This is great. I already have a backup of it. I really like this. I will link it down below. Um, there are other AHAs around, but I found that this one is totally non-irritating in terms of drying out my skin at all. It just, it's soothing in a weird sort of way. Um, it stings a little bit, but that goes away quickly, and it just, it does a, a bang-up job of um, keeping my face really smooth and um, I think it makes my skin look very nice. So I will continue to use that until it makes my skin not look nice. Um, another product that I really liked but that I would not repurchase because I like other things a little bit better, um, the Arbonne Smoothing Facial Cleanser. Really nice, but I think for the price, I, I just would not spend as much on a cleanser again. I prefer to spend good money on things like serums, um, exfoliants, um, more treatment-based products that are on the skin a little bit longer, like my facial oils, but not on cleansers necessarily. So this is a good one, but I think you'd have to be really dedicated to Arbonne or um, rich <laughs> to be able to afford this the way that you would probably need to. I mean, I use a lot of cleansers, so there's that. Oh, I also finished the Hyaluronic Acid. This was way earlier in the month. The Hyaluronic Acid from Asterwood Naturals. Love this too. Um, I would put this on oftentimes in the mornings. Um, it's really nice stuff. Love it. Uh, po another Paula's Choice product. Here we go. Paula's Choice Resist Brightening Essence. This was my very first bottle that I went through. I swear by this. I use it every single morning. I got it as soon as it was released. Um, this was, like I said, my very first bottle. Love it hydrates, um, brightens my skin, d uh, doesn't clog my pores. I feel like because it has a pretty good concentration of niacinamide in it, it helps to shrink my pores. I just, I love this product. I am, I'm one of those people that swears by Paula's Choice. I just, I think she has a good line of products. I finished a Tahitian coconut lip, lip solve or balm, if you will, from Arbonne. This was really good. So yummy, squeezed every last little bit out. I would open it, but I just, I see a lot of cat hair getting in here if I do that. It is a very thick, hydrating, creamy lip balm, and it tastes and smells like coconuts. It's a winner. 
This I am finally getting rid of um, because it has definitely gone past the expiration date. This was something that was sent to me, I think, two years ago from Benigma. Um, this is their all-in-one face cream. It has bee venom, manuka honey, and shea butter. I used most of it. Um, you can see there's a little bit up there. Uh, it doesn't smell quite right anymore, so I'm not going to be using the rest of it. It used to smell, it had like a really strong honey type odor to it, um, but now it smells like like a musky honey scent. It, it doesn't smell like what it used to, so I'm not going to use this anymore. It's not something that I would repurchase. I do think it was a really good product. It definitely really hydrated my skin. It did plump it up. But for the money, I'm just not sure that it was worth what they're charging for it, if that makes sense. Um, they did give out a lot of coupon codes. With the coupon codes, I would say it was definitely more worth it. Um, but without a coupon code, full price, I don't think so. So, yeah. I love this. <laughs> I need backups of this. It is the Hosk Minoy Coconut Oil deep, um, sorry, nourishing deep conditioner. This is fantastic. I, I think I picked another one up of these in an altar order that I'm going to be getting here soon. God, that smells good. It just smells good and it didn't weigh my hair down and it made my hair so soft. Um, I will definitely be linking this down below. You can get the packets or it does come in like a squeezy tube as well, like a, like a full size. Uh, looky here, Pravana. This is my Pravana chroma silk vivids is that right yep chroma silk vivids toner that i use periodically on this situation it is the color silver um you can purchase this off of amazon i will link this down below for you as well um i tone my hair with this maybe twice a month let's be honest i'm lazy uh once a month and it's more than enough i just mix it with some non-silicone conditioner and then put it on my hair and leave it on for like a half hour and makes my hair nice and silver it's purple but it makes my hair silver so love that uh, I'm getting rid of one of my makeup sponges um, I think Stella used this to maybe clean one of her dolls or something but it's kind of tore up up here and um, these are cheap enough. These are the Real Technique sponges. I really like these. Um, I would continue to purchase these because I, I think they're great. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. I have a backup anyway, so I'm using that right now. But um, I do find that once they start to break down, they break down pretty quickly. So there's that. A couple of sample things that I finished here. There's an Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. This was just a random sample that I had floating around for a really long time and I just grabbed it out of my little drawer here where I have samples. I thought this was okay, but it honestly, I think at the end of the day, my under eye area looked kind of older than normal. I don't know if it just caused the makeup to separate, um, but I, I would never buy anything from Origins to start with. <laughs> Um, and this just wasn't really all that impressive anyway. So this I did like, it's the bamboo silk foaming face scrub with lemongrass from lather. This was when they sent me the latest mask that I'm going to be reporting on on Monday. Um, they sent me also some samples of some of their other things and I really like this one. Um, I think it's great cleanser. It does have exfoliators in it. I know some of you have a massive aversion to any kind of physical exfoliants. Do not buy that if you have an aversion to that. I don't have an aversion to that, but um, I know that not everybody shares that thought. And then the last thing is I am doing away with the Arbonne. It's a long story mascara because it's starting to flake when I apply it. So um, it's time for it to go. I think I've actually already had this for like two months, if not more. So um, it's time for, ooh, for it to go. <laughs> Um, but it was good. It was a really good mascara, much better for lengthening than volumizing, um, but good stuff nonetheless. So there you have it. Those are the empties for the month of February. I'm excited to see what I can finish in March. I am a big proponent of using your beauty products. I know sometimes it's very easy to think, oh, I need to save that for a special occasion. 
Every day is a special occasion. Use your skincare. Your skin's not going to get better if you're not using the skincare. You got to use it. <laughs> every morning, every night, do your skincare routine. And um, you'll notice that you go through things pretty quickly when you do that. So um, anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions about anything that I showed here. I will, like I said, link my holy grails down below. Thank you so much for watching. And I have one more video to do. So whew, one more day of looking at this the way that it is right now. Thank you guys so much. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.